Peace and blessings, people of God. This is Brother Ardent with Consuming Fire Temple of El Shaddai. More fire, more flame. Today we're going to be binding up and casting out in prayer uh, what I like to call the deadly D's. All right, so if we look at the English alphabet, there are many negative words that begin with the letter D. It's not that the letter D is evil, but there are many um, evil words um, associated with it. To break down the letter D, we first have to start with the letter O. The letter O is a completed circle, right? It just keeps going around and around. The letter O is also the same shape as our iris and our pupil, which we used to see, right? And if we put them together, we have an eye. The human eye, of course, we get vision from, we see, right? But if we want to get a D, we have to get a half an O. So if you look at that, the D is simply half of a circle. It's not complete. That is it. That is the letter D. Just half of completion, half of what you see. Now, peep this. See, the English language is full of curses. Um, you may not notice it, but the words you speak um, bring many curses. Uh, the It's written in the word that life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat the fruit thereof. See, it's also written that the tongue, your little tongue is a very tiny member, but it's the most powerful uh, uh, member of your body, right? Much more powerful than your, your fists, your biceps, or even your mind, your tongue, right, uh, is very powerful. In elementary school, after you learn your letters, you'll get something like this on your paper from your teacher saying, hey, Jimmy, you did a great job. A plus, you can now cast spells onto paper, or you can spell rather, right? And they'll put one of these, peep spelling by the way and then they'll put one of these here on your paper as well a stick a star right which is nothing but an inverted pentagram what is called a star in school is actually this right here a pentagram see if we take a star like that and we fill it in you'll notice that you have the sigil of the baphomet an occultic symbol the question you may ask is, why is this symbol on my child's schoolwork or on my schoolwork from when I was a kid? Why did I learn to curse or to to write in cursive in school? It's all by design, right? See, the English language um, received about 1,700 uh, words from William Shakespeare, who was a known occultist, right? Now, there's some people who say that uh, William Shakespeare was really a man named Sir Francis Bacon, but he was also an occultist, and you'd still get 1,700 words from him. Um, then some say that he's a, an amalgamation of a bunch of other men in a secret society, but still, it still goes the same. These are all occultists as well. No matter how you spin it, um, I maintain that these are all occultists, and the English language is full of occultic words, but that's not what this video is about. We're just going to be focusing on those Ds. I'll do another video another time uh, going deeper on the curses and spells uh, within the English language that we use on a daily basis and how they affect us. Uh, but as far as right now, we're going to go ahead and pray. OK, so if you reach your hands toward the screen for me, we're going to come in agreement with one another. Lord, in Jesus' name, I come in prayer for my dear brother and sister in Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your word says that whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatsoever we loose on earth, we loose in heaven, in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of death, danger, every devil, a demon, every spirit of disaster, disaster will want to strike into their life, I bind it. I bind every spirit of destruction in their life, destruction of their household, destruction of their marriage, of their family, of their children, body, mind, and soul. I bind every disease that would attack them in the mighty name of Jesus, a disease of the mind in the name of Jesus, body and soul and spirit, every bit of doom, every derelict spirit is bound, every spirit of dysfunction in their family, dysfunction in their workplace, in their pockets, with their money, in their family, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind it. I bind all disharmony spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deaf spirit sitting upon the mind. Every spirit of disunion in the name of Jesus Christ is bound off of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Discontentment in the name of Jesus Christ. They can never be happier at rest. I bind it in Jesus' name. Every difficult spirit making their life hard. All dire spirits putting them into dire straits and dire situations constantly. Bound every spirit of disrespect in Jesus' name. I bind it. I bind every demon that would enter into their lives. I bind every draconian 
Christian type of measure that will be imposed into their lives. I bind it in Jesus' name. I bind every dubious devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dreamless spirit in their lives that's allowing, that's not allowing them to dream, to be able to see what they dreamt of the night before, so they can take care of it in the spirit. I bind it. I bind every downtrodden spirit, every dour spirit, every deaf spirit, causing them not to hear the word of God, causing them not to hear good news. From this point forward, you shall hear good news in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind every spirit of debate and argument and strife in Jesus' name. All debating spirits, get out. I bind every damaging spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dejective spirit, every defensive spirit that makes them feel weak in the name of Jesus Christ. It is bound. Let the fire of God protect them. More fire, more flame. I bind every de um, delirious spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the mind. Defamatory spirit, every deplorable spirit, every demented spirit, every degenerative spirit inside of the body in the name of Jesus Christ. Bringing sickness, infirmity, and disease into them. I bind it in Jesus' name. I bind every defective spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bind, 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 bind. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Every deceptive spirit, every spirit that will cause their life to be in a state of despair, in a state of decline. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is bound. I bind every spirit that will cause people to despise them. In the name of Jesus Christ, every devastating spirit. They'll bring devastating circumstances into the lives. I bind it by fire in the name of Jesus. Every devious spirit, all devious devils in their lives, I bind the spirit be gone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Difficult spirits making their lives hard so they can't progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of the body, get out of the mind, get out of the soul in Jesus' name. Every digressive spirit that will cause them to retrogress or go back and digress in Jesus' name. I bind every spirit of disorderliness, a, a spirits of disability that makes them disabled. Every detest spirit where people hate them in Jesus name I bind every disgust spirit of disgust that will make people uh, uh, find them gross in Jesus name or find them dirty I bind dirty in the spirits in the name of Jesus Christ I bind all this spirits in the name of Jesus Christ and I command all of you to wrap yourselves into a ball and go into the abyss in Jesus name get out of the body get out of the mind get out of the soul get out of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we command you out I command you out I command you out every evil deed every spirit of destruction, every spirit of death, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out of the body. Come out of the body. Come out. Come out. Come out. 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 In the name of Jesus, I command you out. Every sneaky demon that wants to come in and ruin their lives, that wants to ruin their finances, that wants to ruin their love life, ruin their marriage, ruin their children, that says it's going to make sure that their life goes into a state of despair and decline and declination. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare over you that you are now set free. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, the word of God says that you shall decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light of the Lord shall shine upon it. Therefore, from this point forward, in the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God is shining upon your life. The light of the almighty living King is shining upon your life. King Jesus himself is looking out for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every disastrous curse that has been placed upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ is removed, is removed because he became a curse for you so that you shall not be cursed. Hallelujah. It's written in the word of God that uh, uh, he that is is, is, is is killed upon a tree or hung from a tree becomes a curse. He become a became a curse for us. Hallelujah. So that we shall not be cursed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, you shall live a life. Hallelujah. I loose this upon you until, according to the word of God in Matthew 18, 18, I believe. In Jesus name that whatsoever I loose on earth is loose in heaven. Therefore, I loose good tidings upon you. Goodness. Hallelujah. Peace, hallelujah, happiness, and joy in the name of Jesus Christ. The opposite of every evil deed you shall now begin to enjoy in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. An outstanding spirit, a ruling spirit shall be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall uh, 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 advance in the name of Jesus Christ in all that you do for the glory of God. So that they will ask you, they will look at you and say, how did you get this far? What did you do? And you will be able to point up and say, it was my Lord God, it was the Lord God Almighty who did it. Hallelujah and amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, people of God. Um, and before I go, I just want to remind you that not every word that begins with D is evil, right? There's also delightful, right? Or dandelion, <laughs> right? Something things that sound pretty and good. However, with the word with um um the letter D, um, there are a lot of devious um 
uh, words connected to it, right? It's built like that by design. But please, this is in no way a condemnation of the letter D. There are some people that are very near, dear, and close to me um, whose name begins with uh, uh, the letter D, etc. Right? Um, dear, I'm speaking specifically of those words. And you can probably think of uh, some more. These are just ones that the Spirit of God brought to me. And he brought this message to me. So um, I pray that you all have a beautiful day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ or a beautiful night wherever you are. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to... Um, just bless all of you, uh, whether you be in the United States here with me, or I know I have a lot of um, um, some people that watch are in Africa, uh, especially like Kenya, Uganda, South Africa. A lot of you out there, God bless you all. In the Caribbean, God bless you all. Um, you know, so just be well in Jesus' name. God bless you all and have a wonderful, wonderful day, night, etc.